Our project is governed by a non-disclosure agreement, NDA, that outlines specific constraints on what we can disclose and share publicly to ensure our sponsor is able to maintain a competitive edge on the market. With that being said, our team successfully accomplished our problem statement and GE Healthcare has plans of taking our final prototype to their own drawing boards where they will further the design into a patented product. Without further ado, let's get into our project statement. GE challenged our team to design a cover for a medical device when undergoing reprocessing methods. These reprocessing methods include submerging the device in a chemical wash for a thorough disinfection. The device is then exposed to an almost complete vacuum in a hydrogen peroxide gaseous environment for sterilization. This means that the cover needs to freely allow the flow of gases in and out of the medical device while preventing the chemical wash from damaging the device. Our team came across a material that does exactly what we're looking for. What's the name of the material, you may ask? Well, it's called... <coughs> so this material should work pretty well for what we're going to use it for. Or will it? Our alpha prototype consists of a plastic bottle with a hole punched through the side and covered with a small disc of the material. This prototype successfully demonstrated that the material prevented water from entering the bottle when fully submerged, in addition to enabling the flow of air through the material when the bottle is compressed. Satisfied with our results, we moved on to a beta prototype. This is our beta prototype. It's a hollow cube 3D printed with resin and has two holes covered with the material. The test that we ran this prototype through involved pulling it under a vacuum while being submerged in water. Here you can see the vacuum pulling the air through the material, causing it to bubble. The last test involved putting the prototype through a standard cycle of sterilization, the same cycle that the medical device will be run through. Though we can't show you this because... <coughs> But, we can say that we discovered the adhesive on the material will not hold. All in all, the final prototype consists of components utilized in both the alpha and beta prototype with improvements in the hole diameter, bonding of the material, and functionality. Our team has supplied GE Healthcare with vital research and tangible results, enabling the development of a future patent.